talk a little bit about the olden times. We can't have this panel without asking you, uh, Commander Keen. Yes. The reboot. Did you watch that trailer? I did. I actually watched. I watched both. There were two. There were oh, two of them. Interesting. What do yeah. You think? So the first one uh, had this really cool cartoon, you know, which I thought was neat, and they introduced. Keen's sister, I guess, or there was a girl Keen. Yeah, I think it's Billy and Billy, right? If I uh, panel, which makes yeah, yeah, Billy and Billy. That's a missing. I think so. Billy Blaze, and then maybe Billy with an I on the end, or something IE like that. or something. Um, so I didn't get the names, but it was cool to see just that they they did a lot of work on that. And um, and then the, when I saw the game video, I was like, well, that's not that's not a platformer the way that Keen was a platformer, and. And it's and, and I, my thought was like, well, the designer behind it must must not be making this Keen for the people who played Keen originally. Yeah, and then you wonder why did you call it Commander Keen? Like, you yeah. Know, like, like, well, I think I think you know they want to take it in a different direction, and they're they're they're. And it seemed to me that it was kind of an experimental gameplay kind of thing because I haven't played a game like it. Um, so maybe you know maybe this is like the first like let's introduce IP and do something interesting and new with it. Um, for an audience that is not the people that, that, that used to play Keen, but or play a bunch of mobile games. Yeah. So with that, with, with that kind of design, um, when I saw it, I was like, well, I, I don't play stuff like this, but maybe there is already an audience that does that, and, this, and maybe this will catch fire because it hits all those people that do play stuff like that. How does that feel? What are your emotions when you see the headline or see it on Twitter? Like, what is this? Commander Keen is trending? Like, Oh, well, <laughs> not, the, not, not just that. But it's just like, oh, Commander Keen, this is great. Because, you know, it's almost 30 years since we made our Keens. Um, and, uh, you know, Wolfenstein all over the place. Doom all over the place. Yeah. Quake. Champions, you know. Yeah, have, you, have you played the new Wolfenstein's? What are you? I've been looking at it. and It looks good. fucking great. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are really good. Well, really Machine Games one. rocks. So yeah. Machine Games has nailed Wolfenstein. That's not even yeah. a problem, you yeah. know. And I think that the internal studio has nailed Doom. And you know, people were worried before 2016 came out, and it did come out, and people were blown away. Thought it was amazing. Was great. Yeah. And then when the trailer for Eternal came out, it was like. They didn't mess it up, you know. <laughs> like they just made it the way that Doom Two was better than yeah. than the original, yeah. in that in because of the double barrel, they did that. But then with the new video that they put out with the story, so much more story than I ever would have thought was going to be in it. It it looks just awesome. I can't wait. Do you love following it? Do you still feel emotionally attached, or are you just yeah. so, so okay? Yeah, yeah, and, I, and it's funny because I talked to the people that did. Like I run into them at shows, and the lead designer, and and all that. Like today, I ran into more id guys. And they're like, yeah, we're working on you know Doom and everything, and so it's like, it, you guys are taking it forward. Mm. Do a good job. Keep going. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like say Wolfenstein. I can't say, oh yeah, I own Wolfenstein. I made Castle. I made Wolfenstein after Castle Wolfenstein ten years earlier. Yeah. It's really Silas Warner made Wolfenstein. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we like we made a modern version of it. Luckily, we actually got to show it to to, to Silas Warner like a. During the month that we just released it, like yeah. we actually went to a, a Apple II conference, and he was there speaking, and so we could actually show him on the very first color laptop ever made. It was a five thousand dollar <laughs> Toshiba wow. laptop, and we got to show it to him, and he thought it was super cool. We hung out for like all day and night yeah. talking to him, and had him sign everything, and um, and so we did that, and then Return to Castle Wolfenstein, you know, and it's like. You know, people can just take it on into the future and just do keep doing a, a kick-ass job. That was just a clip from the full episode of the Game Informer Show podcast from E3 2019. You can subscribe to the audio version of the show to listen to the full episode, uh, including more episodes which are going to be coming up throughout the week. We're going to be coming live from E3 2019 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, including developer roundtables and fun discussions about the games we've played. Thanks for watching, everybody.